We're going to kick off the first ever day two of CitizenCon by talking about some of the awesome work done by the character team. All right. So first, let's talk about life in a frontier system like Pyro and how this influences the character designs. So we wanted to create something unique compared to what we've seen in Stanton already. We want to give a wider visual palette and a feeling of historical age between the different solar systems. So this chart describes the fashion pillars for humanity. We can see where all suits, armors, and fashion items should belong. In terms of material use, manufacturing technology, and novelty. So you can see Earth fashion on the left, Terra fashion on the right, and Frontier fashion right in the middle with a little bit of overlap of Earth. So essentially, Frontier fashion is function over form. They are repurposed and repaired, and generally are misfits rather than sets. Outfits are purposeful by having storage solutions. This implies survivability along the frontier. OK, let's take a look at some of these assets in the game. Awesome. So hopefully you guys that played uh, Pyro Playground, you will have seen uh, a few of those assets being showcased. So as we saw from the video, pouches and storage are a key part of the Frontier aesthetic. This drives the feeling of survivability. But from here, we thought it'd be really cool to give the functionality, but also some customization options. So let's take a look at a video we just developed internally. And this is for modular storage items on the player.
Pretty cool, right? So I think this will provide loads of customization options in the future. We're super happy about that. So we also created some extreme weather costumes for frontier locations, and these also follow the same mismatched and repurposed design aesthetics. Now, we've also been focusing on achieving a higher visual benchmark. So this is all driven by our new Layer Blend V2 shader and its uh, texture library. And we focus on more consistent wearing between 0 and 100% values. So to showcase this, let's look at a quick example asset. All right. So as we saw in the video, in, uh, the insides of the helmets are looking fantastic. Now, this is us getting them ready to animate with put on and take off. <clears throat> so in summary, Frontier Fashion is expanding the visual design palette for humans given a more credible feeling of age and history when you travel across multiple solar systems. All right, now let's talk about something different. Now we're going to talk about some of the gangs in Star Citizen. So Ninetales have been one of the main gangs in the game. So far, <laughs> over 105 million have been taken out by you guys. <laughs> so you guys have been busy. Great job. All right. So it was like, all right, now we're going to need to introduce a few more factions to the game, OK? So the first faction we're going to talk about is Rough and Ready. So the aesthetic of the gang was to be subtle. They're understated in terms of clothing, and they almost blend into their environment. On closer inspection, you'll notice their tattoos. Uh, these signify rank and progression within the gang. Let's take a look at a quick video. I think they look absolutely fantastic. OK. So the rough and ready can be found in some of the space stations around Pyro. Now, the tattoos, like I said, the tattoos form a progressive design. This illustrates the hierarchy within the gang. As a player, you'll be able to earn these tattoos and apply them to your character. <laughs> All 
Okay, cool. The next gang we're going to talk about is Headhunters. So this gang is also located in Pyro, but offers a completely different frontier aesthetic. More of a wasteland vibe with lots of personality, and this will translate into the behavior types. Now, this gang is currently in production, but let's take a, a quick sneak peek. Okay, so cosplay competition next year. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. All right. <laughs> All right, so they're looking awesome. Now, the last gang we want to talk about is Dusters. So Dusters are a criminal gang specializing in mining-related crimes. Now, internally, I love the, de the original Desert Nomad armor. You can see him here, right? Now, I wanted to use it as a starting point to establish the Dusters design language. So here we can see... <laughs> so here we can see the Dusters gang lineup showing armor leveling and rarity. So as a player, you'll have horizontal armor progression. This will define your role and play style. Then you'll have vertical progression. This is your progression within that role and play style. For example, a common bounty hunter armor set will be weaker than a legendary, and as armor progresses in strength, it's harder to acquire. So harder missions, rarer drops, higher reputation. Now, as we're talking a little bit about armor sets, let's recap a little. So the goal is that players should consider which armor to equip based on the role they wish to fill and the scenario they're heading into. There will be also greater differences between the current armor types. So light, medium, and heavy, and this will be in protection and mobility. New armor categories will be combat, specialist, utility, and support. And these will define the type of items that are quickly available on the slots of the suit. There will also be additional functionality to assist in your chosen role. A matrix of armor type versus category will provide a variety of roles, with each providing best-in-class benefits. There will also be hindrances to out-of-role gameplay. For example, if you're wearing a heavy armor set and you're trying to fly a, a little snub fighter, you'll have restricted visibility and less vehicle control. So in this scenario, like a flight suit armor type with resistance to milder g-forces would be preferred. 
Okay. So as we saw in Ali's presentation yesterday, hygiene simulates and tracks the accumulated effects of a character going unwashed for a, any length of time. Poor hygiene can lead to disease, lowered health, and uh, snarky comments. <laughs> <laughs> hygiene decays faster if a character becomes dirty or wears dirty clothing or armor, and visual effects are going to be displayed on the character's skin, such as blood, sweat, and dirt. Certain usables, such as a shower, will reset the character's hygiene and clean away all of those dirt effects. So uh, let's keep clean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that covers a quick recap on armor sets and hygiene. Let's get back to a video showcasing the dusters. Awesome. So you'll be able to find the dusters scattered around various derelict settlements and wrecks in Stanton, and the dusters will be available Q4 